Hello everyone, Russo here again, and I hope everyone's doing okay. Today, I'm going to show you my giraffe painting. I guess you could say it's a mixed media, not a full painting. So, I did this for a watercolor class. It is watercolor. Um, and the... The teacher that I had was quite strict. This was one of the only um, artworks that I produced that she approved of. And um, coincidentally, it's one of the only ones that I spent several hours um, working on. And I'm going to say maybe... I feel like it was over four hours for sure. Which is not uncommon when you're working on a... Um, a really detailed piece but um it's just it gets to be very tiring so let's talk about it so what we have here is let me just go back a little bit because it's quite large um so we've got the sky got the giraffe and we've got the grass this is based off of um a picture that i just happened to find on google and i just i thought the pose was super cute i love giraffes you know i i don't know i wasn't inspired by anything else and i just thought okay i'm gonna do something like this and so here it is so what i used um again probably um i would have been using Windsor and Newton, um, probably Cotman watercolors, which is the less expensive one of the, the two varieties. And, um, then for the hair here and up here and the outline of the giraffe itself, um, I used something like, let me see if I have it here. Um, probably something like this. Uh, a micron. And I would say, based on how thin the, the hairs are here, I'm going to say that was a 0.05 um the thinnest one that is available and uh I don't know for me I really like to I don't like doing just watercolor usually I like to have a nice um a pop of a black outline and I know that's not always what is wanted or required in a in a class um necessarily but I like to put it in there because it just, um, I don't know, it makes me feel better about it. I like it. So what I've done here for the clouds took quite a long time. And uh, I don't think that I actually used any masking for this, which is crazy. But um, you can see that I've just kind of gone in layers and overlapped, you know, some of the blues and some of the purples and then just left the kind of whitish, very, very, very faint blue in there. And I did go in several layers and I was um, always like dabbing with a, a paper towel you know, trying to get exactly how I wanted it to look. And, you know, for me, clouds are kind of hard to draw if you're trying to make them look, you know, even somewhat realistic. But, um, yeah, would I ever do something like this again? Probably not. Um, I just don't have the patience for it anymore. But um, as far as the actual giraffe, you can see... Here, on the face, like all the way up and all the way down, I did 
a kind of, I did it like a dry brush um, pointillism effect to kind of give it some texture to the, to the fur. Um, so I'm really happy with how that turned out. And then for the, the different um, markings on the giraffe, I just chose to kind of go with a few different colors. Um, not d different colors, a few different shades of the same color. Just to, to show shadows and, um, you know, like a bit of shadow under the head here. And then a shadow more towards the ground here. Shadow underneath the, the neck here. Things like that. And the grass. Same thing. I did a lot of layering. That was the key to this. And when I um, handed this in, we had to put it up in front of the class um, as a group. We each put our work up. And everyone was obsessed with how the grass was done, which kind of perplexed me because I, I don't know. It's just, it it's, doesn't look like anything amazing to me, but, you know, it, it looks like, you know, decent grass. But basically what I did was I went layer by layer. So like I went like in a row like this and, and colored the grass like, a little stick by stick by stick and then or blade by blade I guess you should say um next layer next layer next layer till I got to the top and then I went back and then went with you know a little bit of a darker green and then separated them a little bit more and went all over the place like that then I went in with I don't know if you can see like for example like right here and here I went in with kind of a moss green to kind of just give it some more dimension and over here as well and I must have gone over it you know tons of times until you know I let it dry do another layer let it dry do another layer so you know these things take time but uh yeah, this is one of the the, the nicest um, kind of detailed and well done uh, watercolor paintings that I've done, I would say. And I'm pretty happy with it. So if you have any questions, I'd love to hear them in the comments. And uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day and take care.